All right, today we're going to be talking about the chain rule. And basically, it's what happens when you do derivative of a, of a composite. Okay, so if we go d dx of a function, uh, let's say f of g of x. Okay, the basic rule is just set up as you do the derivative of the first function, the outside function, and then you put the inside function, or the composite, you put it inside. You don't change anything to it. And then you times it by the derivative of the sec the inside function. Something that looks like this. Okay. Uh, and you can do this, I mean, you can do this many different ways. Uh, the, the basic way is just to to make sure that you understand that you're doing a derivative of a constant. Okay, so if we had a function, let's say f of x is equal to 2x to the third plus 5 uh, raised to the third power. Okay, something that looks like this. Alright, so if you notice, this is the inside function right here. Okay. Now some people will go ahead and replace that with like a u and go that oh that's u to the third and just explain it that way. Uh, if you like the chain rule that way you can. Uh, I'm not a big 100% fan on that. I like to do it this way. I like to set up the functions. Okay, so f of x is our well we could say it's u yeah, let's say it's u to the third. No, our outside function is going to be f of x, so that's going to be the x to the third. Okay, so that's that whole thing. Now, when I find the derivative of that, I go f prime of x is equal to 3x squared. Okay, so I have, I have that part. So that part right here is going to go right here, but instead of having an x, I'm going to replace this with the, you know, g of x. Okay. All right. g of x uh, is going to be 2x cubed plus 5. And then when I do the derivative, g prime of x is equal to 6x squared and that's pretty much it because you're doing the constant right there. Okay. And that part is going to go right here on the outside. And this part is going to replace the inside. Okay. So when I rewrite it, all right, when I rewrite the whole thing, let's say the whole thing was actually, well, we actually have to have a definition in the beginning of what it was. Let's say it was r of x. There we go. Okay, r prime of x is equal to the original part, so it's going to be three parentheses, two x cubed plus five raised to the second power times six x squared. Okay. All right, and you can combine the terms outside and just work with it that way. That's pretty simple. Okay. All right, so that's how the chain rule works with pretty simple ones. If you're using it with trig, just make sure you do the same kind of rule. You know, something simple. So, let's say R of X was sine of uh, x to the third plus e to the x. Okay, something that looks like this. Okay, so what we need to do is start defining this as f of x and g of x. So f of x is going to be the outermost function, so it's going to be sine of x. Okay, and so therefore f prime of x is going to be, I believe that is just cosine, yep, cosine of x. 
cosine of x. Okay. All right, and then the innermost function is going to be g of x, and that is going to be x cubed plus uh, e to the x. Now remember, this is a sum. Okay, so g prime of x is going to be equal to 3x squared plus e to the x. And you have to remember that when you do the derivative, you know, it's going to be set up. The derivative of e to the x, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. Okay, so we plug everything into the proper form. So r prime of x is going to be f prime of g of x times g prime of x. Okay, so we just plug everything into its appropriate spot. So f prime first is going to have cosine, then parentheses, I'm going to have the original function which is x cubed uh, plus e to the x. Okay, so we have that all set up. That's pretty simple. But then we're going to times that by uh, sine, no, not sine, we're not using that. We're going to times that by parentheses, uh, 3x squared uh, plus e to the x. Now, you can distribute and multiply and do FOIL and stuff. Just don't feel you have to. You know, just leave it as is. It's okay. You can find the tangent equation from then on out. Okay, now the toughest thing is to do repeated use. So I'm going to actually use a book example from the book. Okay, so let's say that r of x is equal to tangent of 5 minus sine of 2t. Okay, oops, let's get that beginning parentheses. Okay, so we have our outside function is tangent, our inside function is 5 minus sine of t, and also an inside function is 2 times t. So we have several different things. So we're going to have f of x is going to be tangent of x, okay, and then we do f prime of x, which is going to be... Secant squared of x. So that one's pretty simple. I always forget. I always make mistakes on my, my tangent derivatives. Okay. G of x, which is going to be the innermost function. Well, not inner innermost. It's just the inner part. Okay. G of x is going to be 5 minus sine of 2t. Okay. Okay. And so g prime of x, well, let's go back. Let's just change this to just t for now and pretend that it's just t. Okay, so this one would be 0 minus uh, cosine of t. Okay, because what we're going to do is we're going to have a third function. We're going to have h of x uh, be equal to 2t. And that means h prime of x is going to be equal to 2. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to set it up a little bit differently. Okay, so we're going to have f of g of h of x. Okay, all right, so first off, we are going to do this stuff in on the inside. Okay, we're going to do the chain rule here. Okay, so you're going to have f and it's going to be Oops, sorry ignore this one okay this is not the best way to do it about it but at least we have an understanding of what's going on okay so we have everything to find out here okay so first off we're going to do the outermost part which we're going to do this part right here which we're going to have the secant squared and then have our original function in here, 5 minus sine of 2t. Okay, and then we're going to times it by the derivative of g of x. Okay, well in order to do g of x, I need to do the 
the the chain rule again. Okay, so I'm going to have the secant squared out here. So that's pretty simple. Five minus uh, sine of two t. Okay, but now I'm going to have times by, and I'm going to do the chain rule of g of x. So the chain rule is you're going to do the derivative of the first part, which is going to be the zero minus uh, cosine of 2t okay and then you're going to have that times by that 2 okay so that's going to be the simple part right there now the original function this one's going to be hard to recognize but I'm going to tell you right now the original function was this and then this was the inside function. So this is h of x, and this is h prime of x, and this is g prime of x. Okay? Alright, so now that we've got that all set up, and this is where you kind of get lost if you go too fast. Secant squared times 5 minus sine of 2t. Okay, so that's all set up. And we're going to times that by negative cosine of 2t. Well, we could actually have that at 2, be that a 2. It's up to you how you want to do it. So I'm going to just put the 2, well, I'm going to put the 2 behind, just so we have everything nice and organized. Okay, and then you can start combining stuff and rewrite it as uh, negative 2 uh, parentheses cosine of 2t. I almost said tuth times secant squared of 5 minus sine of 2t. <coughs> and that's everything pretty much all set up. I just basically moved this in front just for familiarity. Okay, But basically what you want to do is you want to do the first part and then when you get to here when you're doing chain rule repeatedly do the chain rule again except with the second part. Okay, So in other words use these parts right here okay and use that and you should be able to come up with it so it's almost like you use these parts in the first part and then you use uh, the other part second okay all right that's it for chain rule if you have any questions please feel free to ask and I'll talk to you guys later